Good morning, everybody. Did you miss me? It's your boy, Isaac the Shuffle Guy, I've been presenting for the No Excuse Crew on Motivation Monday. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the guest hosts that we've uh, that we've had. They've been doing a, doing a great job, but, you know, I'll be back for, you know, for a couple weeks before we bring on a few more guest hosts. I know if you only, you know, are checking us out on YouTube, you're probably like, wait, he looks a little bit different. Yes. I've gone with the I've gone with the baldy. My uh, it's funny. My barber said I look even more like a trainer now. So that's uh, so that's pretty cool. So um, let's jump into um, into our topic for today. Our topic for today. I was actually talking with uh, one of our clients about this, and our topic is limits only exist in the mind. So that been we're not going into too much into the science of things and, uh, and things like that. You know. So our nerves and our brain, that's what limits, that's what limit us. You know, you touch, a, you touch a stove, you feel the hot, that's, that, you know, that's what stops you. Well, it's the same, it's the same basic principle for anything in life. Because your mind tells you, you know, you're about to, you know, embark on something. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't do that. You know, there's a lot of risk involved. What if it doesn't work out? All these different things. Your mind is telling you that because it's a safeguard you know, to try to help you, to help prevent you from making mistakes. But it, that safeguard can also limit you from reaching your potential. One of the things I see with clients all the time, you know, give them certain workouts and, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I tell them, limits only exist in the mind. Just try it and you'll see. And then they do it. They feel better. They feel like they've accomplished something. And then they start to realize that the limit is only here. Your body is capable of so much, so much more than what you know. Uh, you know, typically a lot of people say, oh, if you're really strong, you can't have endurance. Or if you're really fast, you can't be that strong. And all these things, man, don't ever, 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 you know, you have enough problems up here. Don't let the things that other people tell you stop you from being great. Stop you from reaching your potential. Stop you from exceeding what you thought your potential was. You know, I have people tell me all the time, man, you shouldn't be able to, you know, run as far as fast as you do with what you do in the gym. They're married up. It's because I work so hard. I don't let that limit get to me. I'm, I'm, I don't subscribe to that. But to me, I should be able to bench press 10,000 pounds. And until I get there, I'm going to keep working at it. It's the same thing with, uh, with speed. I should be able to run a 5K in two seconds. Now, look, we know that's damn near physically impossible. But in my mind, I tell myself that. So every time I'm out there pushing myself, trying to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. So it's the same thing. Now you can apply this to obviously, again, I always say this, you know, we're a training company. So we obviously, you know, apply this to physical fitness, but you can apply it to any aspect of your life. That limit, if you think you're only going to, if you think you're only going to be middle management, you are only going to be middle management because you've allowed that limit. You've allowed that governor to say, okay, this is where I stop. This is shoot for that CEO, but work for that CEO, create a plan to be a CEO. Don't just say, oh, I want it. I'm going to get it. That No, that doesn't work. What works is you make a plan and you execute that plan because you know if you don't get the CEO, you will get damn near close to it if you create the proper plan, if you execute that plan. Now, we bring it back to physical fitness. You set a goal, an achievable goal, attainable goal. Okay, I, I went outside today and I could not complete a mile. So now you set a goal to say, I'm going to complete a mile. Whether you do it yourself, you reach out to a trainer, whatever it is, you say, okay, I need to make a plan. Or I'm going to run every day for the next four weeks until I can complete a mile. Boom, that's a plan. That's an actionable plan. When we create, when, when we talk about creating a plan, and this is about these limits and everything like that, if you're going to exceed these limits that are being placed, you need to create a plan that has actionable items. It can't just be, oh, I want to by the end of the month be here. So you, you make these plans. Okay, so I need to be in the next two weeks, I need to be able to run three quarters of a mile because I currently can only do a half a mile. So I'm going to go a little bit further each day. I'm going to hit 0.65 and 0.7. So then by, by the end of the week, I'll be able to hit, hit a three quarters of a mile. It's really that simple. You create an actionable plan with a realistic, tangible goal like we just talked about with a mile. And then guess what? Those limits go poof and go bye-bye. So limits, they only exist in the mind. No excuse crew. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and obviously here on YouTube. If you like the video, hit that like button. You know, get us with a subscription and buy some gear. No excuse crew.